Well, we've had uh, damage to the roads statewide. We've had bridges and culverts washed out. Uh, we've had rock slides. Uh, we've had uh, road closures as a result. These events have been ongoing uh, since February with uh, some of the snow events. Uh, in February and March and then flooding as a result uh, following that and there's still uh, flooding ongoing still now so uh, we don't even know the full extent of the damage statewide uh, we're still uh, finding damage uh, every day. Right now we're focused on uh, repairing the damage uh, to the culverts and bridges, uh, getting roads open so that's our first priority now and so what that does is it takes away uh, some of the effort that we would have been doing uh, right now uh, for instance things like pothole patching tree and brush removal ditching uh, a lot of things that would have been taking place right now have had to be pushed to the back burner uh, as a result of this we do have three federal partners that we work with uh, on emergency response and we appreciate the work that the districts are doing because not only are they out there trying to keep the roads open but they're also back in the office trying to get estimates together and get those up here to central office so that we can provide them to those federal agencies to try to get reimbursed for it. So it's, it's a challenge for everyone all the way around and, and we really appreciate the effort that everyone's put forth.